Hey y'all, it's Tony. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a continuation of the last video, which is the second baby clothes video. So in this video, I am constructing those pieces that I showed you in the last video. So we have a dress and then we have some leggings. So right now what I'm doing is that just to ensure that my stitches and everything look good, I am using a test piece of some some nylon spandex fabric from, from some workout pants that I shortened. So I'm just testing out my serging or also known as overlocking. So I'm testing that, adjusting the tension and the stitch lengths and everything. So that I did for a little while just to make sure again that everything looked nice. So I definitely would recommend doing some test stitches before you start on a project so that you don't mess anything up. And there we go. All right, so hey y'all. Right now I am back at it. I have surgery over here. You saw me earlier kind of testing things out, trying to figure out what exactly I was going to do. And I played around with it for a while. I did some more test test like um samples of my surging and uh, what did i do the other piece oh in this piece which i showed y'all already so i was um t testing my tension and trying to figure that situation out and now i am going to go ahead and just start with the leggings which are so cute so i am i think i'm just gonna sew them on the serger um because i put the other the other straight stitch on there so it's going to be double the stitch and then the overlocking on the other side um, and then I just might finish up with my or I should I don't know I'm trying not to be too difficult for my own self but if I sew it on the sewing machine first and then hit, hit it with the serger that might work out well too I just want the seams to be strong and I don't want any gapping in them or smiling um, so that's kind of it. Also, last night I bought these, actually not even last night, two nights ago, I bought these scissors, which they're kind of scary because they're really sharp, but I like them for being snips, like little snipping scissors, and uh, they're from Singer, they're from Amazon, like there you go, Singer, from Amazon. All right, in this clip I am measuring my, um, I forget the name for it, but my seam plate, the sewing plate, and I just wanna make sure that I have the correct amount of, of seam allowance on there. So, I mean, I have it marked, it was already marked on the pattern. However, I just wanted to double check it on my machine itself with a ruler. that I tried sewing this on my sewing machine which again they tell you and they told us like when I was in school this is so to sew knits on an overlock machine slash a serger but I just like the closeness that a a sewing a regular sewing machine straight stitch machine does however I know that I need in order for my knit to stretch properly I definitely need to go ahead and use my overlock machine slash serger here we are because look at that's rigid that's rigid and we don't want rigid especially for a baby so here we go I realized what I just did. I just sewed the lid closed. Just a, a smidge. I actually need it to sew. Mm. I think I'm just gonna have to cut that whole seam off, honestly. I'm not gonna seam rip this entire thing. I'm just gonna cut it off. All right, so plan B. Okay, so y'all have to ignore my messy workstation. I was in here cutting patterns out last night. I'm still working on cutting out some that I uh, previously just bought 
Yeah, previously is the right word. <laughs> that I previously just bought. <laughs> Okay, hey y'all, so now we're back in the room, and as you saw in the previous clip, I cut all this off because, honestly, I don't even need my sewing machine on at this point, I'm just gonna, gonna turn it off. And we're gonna get back to the, this here, my serger, and we're gonna serge the very scene that we just cut, and that should solve our issues. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Let me not, because I need to search this part, not the leg. I almost made the same mistake twice. All right. This part we search. And let's go. There we go. So here we are. And I turned it. So then this is the front, the shorter section. Then here's the back. Looking good. Okay. Now we are going to flip it again and then just serge the legs. And then I'll probably take it to my machine and I guess hem this just a little bit. Like maybe just do a zigzag on the bottom. Although I think a cuff would have been knife nice. <laughs> knife. Um I probably should have made a cuff or bought the pattern that had a cuff with it, because then that would have finished the seam pretty nicely. But I think we'll be okay. Thank you. 